Hello folks, the phone world is a lot more complex than simply Apple vs Samsung, but sales figures suggest otherwise. Galaxy handsets and iPhones dominate the charts, so whenever a new one comes along, people start asking the same question. Which one should I buy? Right now, anyone with an especially healthy bank balance is deciding between the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. These are the undisputed kings of their respective cores, with cameras that are beyond care capable, unrivaled performance and oversized screens that are perfect for on-the-go box set binging. They are also seriously pricey, so it makes sense to pour over spec sheets before breaking out the credit card. Compared to their predecessors, neither the iPhone 14 Pro Max nor the Galaxy S23 Ultra have changed all that much. Sure, both can be had in a slew of new colors, but physical dimensions and general styling remains the same. iPhone 14 Pro Max is an AG heavy phone to deal with, especially with one hand, while the Ultra's curved screen will probably bring it an ergonomic advantage. The steeper curvature radius of the side frame would make it fairly comfortable to hold and operate with one hand, compared to the blocky iPhone, and the S23 Ultra also has an S Pen style, style for doodling that Apple can't or won't replicate. At the rear, we still have three lens rings protruding from the back independently, rather than being a part of an elevated camera island plateau as on most every other major phone out there, including the iPhone iPhone 14 Pro Max. If size is all that matters, you'll want to pick up a Galaxy S23 Ultra. Its 6.8-inch display is larger than the iPhone 6.7-inch screen and has a higher resolution to boot, at 3088 by 1440 to Apple's 2796 by 1290. That means it has a higher pixel density, although at that size you'd need a microscope to spot the difference. Apple equipped the iPhone 14 Pro Max with a bright OLED panel of the latest generation that is the technology employed on the Galaxy S23 Ultra 2. The Ultra sports a panel of Samsung's 12th gen OLED display generation, like the one that boasted the peak brightness of the Galaxy Fold 4 significantly compared to the Fold 3, or brought the record peak brightness of 2000 nits on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Even if it doesn't hit 2000 peak nits, though, Samsung has proven it can make well calibrated panels with excellent color presentation, just as Apple. Moreover, Apple melted the dynamic refresh rate advantage that the Galaxy has had by introducing Reducing 1 to 120Hz range for its iPhone 14 Pro models, which previously only dipped to 10Hz. As usual, Corning announced that its newest generation of reinforced glass, the Gorilla Glass Victus 2, to be the tough display cover and body glass that the S23 Ultra uses. Whether or not it is tougher than Apple's proprietary ceramic shield remains to be tested. While the starting price of the iPhone 14 Pro Max is $100 cheaper than that of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, that's because it's the 120 28GB model. Once you get into the 512 and 1TB tier, the prices equalize as Apple charges a nominal leg for extra storage, while Samsung produces its own and starts off with 256GB storage. One area where the Galaxy S23 Ultra will again be leaps and bounds ahead of its main competitor in Apple's roster is the camera hardware. The biggest upgrade that arrives with the Galaxy S23 Ultra is the new custom 200MP ISO cell HP2 main camera sensor with 0.6 micron pixels that Samsung prepared exclusively for its 2023 flagship. With Apple finally dished its 12 megapixels cameras and equipped the iPhone 14 Pro Max with a 48 megapixel sensor, it's no much for the kind of detail and resolution that the S23 Ultra will be able to produce. In low light environment, the pixel size goes to 1.12 microns, allowing the user to take 50 megapixels photos with increased light sensitivity. While at night, the S23 Ultra introduces an even larger 2.4 micron bin virtual pixel by combining 16 pixels into one, so that a picture can be snapped at 12.5 megapixels. This system will allow users to take sharp photos no matter how much light is available. Thus, low light camera samples from the S23 Ultra seems to confirm its superior light catching abilities, while an indoor zoom one lends credence to the increased level of detail theory. Zoom photos and nighttime ones are where the iPhone should be badly beat by the S23 Ultra, so it would be interesting to compare those with the excellent iPhone 14 Pro Max camera set. The Ultra sensor and image processor also supports smoother 8K video at 30 frames per second, as well as seamless dual HDR shooting in 4K and Full HD modes. This target HDR mode combines all three exposures to deliver great-looking HDR photos and videos, but the iPhone 14 Pro Max is really good when it comes to video capture, but the first video 
video comparisons show that Samsung has made a lot of progress, especially at night. Samsung also has an answer to Apple's action mode video recording with all access stabilization that is exclusive to the top end Galaxy S23 Ultra model as an extension to Samsung's resident super steady mode. Apple's own brand Silicon has been powering its handset since the iPhone 5S a decade ago. The iPhone 14 Pro Max uses the A16 Bionic, a 6 core chip with separate GPU that absolutely smashes benchmark apps and delivers superb day to day performance. It's able to run demanding apps covering things like music production and video editing, despite having a relatively modest 6 GB of RAM to play with. Samsung used to offer its phones with homegrown CPUs, but that has changed for 2023. The Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip from Qualcomm, albeit with a few Samsung specific clock speed customizations and is paired with a healthy 12 GB of RAM. This chip is as quick as Android phones get right now, and benchmark results from rival handsets suggest it can hold its own with Apple in certain tests. Daily duties should be flawlessly smooth, and the One UI software's multitasking friendly nature is perfect for productivity. Unless there is a specific app you have in mind, either phone should cope with whatever you throw at them. As for the software, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is running on Android 13 with Samsung's One UI 5 slapped on top, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max runs on iOS 16, and the two systems are very different from one another, so it's a matter of habit and personal preference. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has an excellent battery endurance, but the battery life of the Galaxy S23 series is also getting a 20% bump from the utilization of a new Snapdragon Agent 2 processor made on a second-gen 4 nanometers technology, as well as the newer LTPO OLED panel generation that it brings to the table. In battery benchmark tests, however, the iPhone 14 Pro Max managed to outrun the Galaxy S22 Ultra in certain scenarios, and its successor, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, also has a hard time surpassing the iPhone's endurance in those tests. Where the Galaxy S23 Ultra shines in comparison with the top iPhone, however, is charging speed. While not of the Chinese flagship phone rank, Samsung's charging speeds are pretty decent, as it takes it about an hour to fill up a 5000 mAh battery pack with Samsung's 45 watts charger. Compare that to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which takes almost two hours to top up a smaller unit at a maximum of 27 watts. Wireless charging tops out at 15 watts on both phones, but Apple insists on a MagSafe adapter to achieve it. On a Qi charger, speeds are limited to 7.5 watts. The Samsung can also reverse charge smaller gadgets like wireless headphones if you've got shoes to spare. The Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro Max are immensely powerful phones with gorgeous screens and big batteries. They are both properly premium devices, but there are areas where one takes the lead over the other. Even those heavily invested in the Apple ecosphere may be tempted to snatch the Galaxy S23 Ultra off the shelves. Samsung's 2023 flagship offers a more ergonomic design with integrated S Pen cells, and its under the hood upgrades, such as a new phone nanometers processor, would match the iPhone's pack for spec, even the Pro model with Apple A16 chip. Samsung will be bringing its A game to counter the new iPhone 14 Pro Max camera and its brightest phone display and it will, as the Galaxy S23 Ultra sports the largest camera sensor on an S-Line phone so far and the latest 5G modem from Qualcomm that the iPhone lacks. Don't even get us started about the Galaxy S23 Ultra's advantage in the optical zoom department before the tired 3X telephoto of the iPhone 14 Pro Max that has been Apple's modus operandi for years on end now, or its much faster battery charging abilities. Still, once you get an Apple's ecosystem grip, it's hard to break with the company and its product. So, it remains to be seen if the slightly more expensive Galaxy S23 Ultra will manage to put a dent in the iPhone 14 Pro Max market share. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.